Welcome everyone. My name is Joe and this is Joey. Uh, today we will watch Nine. We had such potential. Such promise. But we squandered our ifs. And so... If you haven't heard about the movie Nine, um, it is a 2009 <laughs> animated science fiction film directed by Shane Acker. This film has recently gained a bit of a cult following and today we will determine is it deserved or should you skip it? Yeah, the weird puppet movie. <laughs> yes, Joey, the weird puppet movie. <laughs> I remember watching um, this movie as a kid. It scared the living shit out of me. It scared us all. Anyway, uh, this film came. Let's first go over our initial thoughts. Personally, I really liked this film. The story was heartwarming and the visuals were fantastic. I don't know. I wish. I wish this movie was better. What do you mean? This movie was great. For example, let's talk about the visuals. They have this like the dark reds used with machinery as well as green every time a soul is being taken away. Come on, I'll give you the visuals, they were great. And I liked parts of this film a lot, but so much could have been better. The plot was weak and it had so many plot holes and unanswered questions. Okay, Joe, let's talk about number one. Uh, here we go. Don't here we go me, you know that I'm right. He was so rushed. The whole time he was stubborn and stuck in his ways for the entire film. And then the last minute, he was suddenly changed and, spoiler, he sacrifices himself. Yeah, but that's the whole point. No, but it was terrible. You know it was terrible. He explained his arc without gradually showing change. We were just supposed to accept that? Yeah, he did do that. But it was done in such a meaningful way, it was shown in the, visual, the visuals that he was slowly changing, like in his facial expressions. Here, play a clip right before he sacrifices himself. They all died because of me. I started this, and now I need to finish it. They left us nothing. Nothing. Why do we have to right their wrongs? Sometimes, one must be sacrificed. See, he just explained his arc and then killed himself. So lazy. I don't know, but I thought it was emotional. Then let's talk about number six. He draws pictures of a key while wearing a key. A little on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, but that's the point. You can't put a key on a character and not use the key. Come on, you know that's ridiculous. It was a symbol. It was never supposed to be used. I know it's a symbol, but here's an example. At the end, Nine opens a box, showing his purpose, the movie's big plot twist. But it would have been so much better if they used Six's key on the box. The box had a keyhole. It would actually make his sacrifice mean you something. You know, that actually does make a lot of sense. Yeah, that's actually something that I wanted to talk about. The sacrifices were terrifying. Yeah, but they didn't mean anything. Yes, they did. Let's talk about number five. His sacrifice was so emotional. Little bluebirds fly beyond the rainbow. Why, oh, why can't 
Yeah, you got me there. But you see what I'm saying, right? Yeah, I see where you're coming from, but overall, this film is about surviving. But if you want to challenge yourself to dissect the meaning of this film, you should give it a watch. You know, I disagree. Of course you do. Yeah, my thoughts summed up. I liked this film as a kid, and rewatching it, it was just super disappointing. So it's one of those movies you put on after 10 years and remember it being this awesome, amazing movie, but in the end, you leave it disappointed. <laughs> I will say, check out this film. Joey says skip it, but in the end, watch it or not, my name's Joe, this is Joey. Have a good one. Man, I didn't know you were so passionate about this movie. I'm a passionate man, Joe. <laughs> passionate man. All right. Yeah.